Today is day 47 of 95 Days of Summer, and we're in the second week of Beast Mode. And I just want to stress to you guys today just the um, the value of water in my weight loss journey. Actually, the first decision I ever made when uh, about three, four years ago when I was transitioning into a, transitioning into a healthier lifestyle was I stopped drinking juices and sodas, and I would drink water only. And I saw a significant change both in my skin and in um, my weight, simply just from incorporating water only into my into my diet, and I took out a lot of the juices and sodas. A lot of people think like, "Oh, I'll take out soda," but juices are juices have just as much sugar content in them as water does. And so, unless I'm specific, and this is just my personal journey, I drink tea now here and there, green tea. But unless I specifically want a certain drink, like, "Oh, I want this soy chai drink" or whatever. Um, Water is what I drink with all my meals. It saves me money. When I go out to eat, I just get water with lemon. Um, I drink water all the time. It, has, it makes a big difference in my weight loss. And just me staying healthy in general, I can just tell when I'm dehydrated and my body is just fatigued and just needs water. I can t Water gives me energy. Water, a trick, even when trying to lose weight and um, eat smaller portions. Um, if you feel hungry... Drink a glass of water or two right before you eat that meal or that snack and you probably won't eat as much as you would have because you're really hungry and you go get the food and you're eating. Um, if you drink a wa glass of water or two, it really helps um, kind of work with your stomach and get you full lure and then you can eat. Um, right now on Beast Mode, I have committed to drinking a gallon of water a day and I can tell it, it's just really... I mean, honestly, I'm going to be real frank with you guys. If your urine isn't clear, you're not drinking enough water. Or if it's, if you have dark yellow urine, then your body's dehydrated. You have a lot of toxins in your body, and you're not drinking enough water. So a good indication for you, if your body is, if your um, urine is, is yellow, a good that's a good indication that you do not have enough water in your system. Another thing is, uh, they say that... Um, a good way to know how much water you should be drinking, um, each person is you should be able you should drink half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh two hundred pounds, you should be drinking a hundred ounces of water a day at least. I'm going for a gallon, and what I do is I either I buy these. I bought this from Trader Joe's, just these gallon bottles, ninety nine cents. I mean from uh, Smart and Final, just the grocery store. Buy a gallon bottle of water, and I just, I know that I've at least drunk my gallon. I just drink straight out of this. Or I have um, this thing right here, which is a gallon of water, and I fill this up with water. And I just take those around with me. And it just really makes a difference in the way I feel in my body. I have a lot of people who are like, how are you doing? How do you lose weight? Um, I tell them I drink a lot of water. I've changed my eating styles. I monitor like my intake calorically and both the amount of food that I eat and the quality. Is it healthy food? Sometimes people eat healthy food, but then they still eat a lot of food and they're wondering why they're not losing weight. It's because you're still consuming a lot of calories. Um, so, but then also uh, exercise, but water, water, water. I know people who just honestly, like I have a friend who just stopped drinking juices and sodas, um, uh, Last week, honestly, focused more so on her skin than on trying to lose weight and lo and drinks a gallon of water every day and lost five pounds already just in that one week. So I'm just telling you guys that water is a cleansing factor. Studies even show that your body can last much longer off of water than it can off of food, meaning your body needs water. I think our body is made up of like 70% water anyway. Like that's how much our body needs water. Your skin, your hydration, your so much of your body is dependent on water. Um, and so I just advise you guys, if you're not properly taking water, you're actually, and you're trying to lose weight, you're actually hindering that process as well, because it's also a cleansing agent. So it's getting a lot of stuff out of you and through you. Um, and so, yeah, 
it just I just jug it. Honestly, I think the best way to go is to have a certain goal of water that you want to drink a day and just like get it in. And then when you're done with that goal, you know, you can still drink water throughout the day or, or, or not. But that's how I do it. I, I can see my goal. When I look at this gallon jug, I'm like, I see my goal. And when I can see my goal, I know that I'm working as the as I work down, I drink more. I'm working closer and closer and closer to be done with my goal. I like to see my goal in mind and to see me take a step towards that. That's kind of just how I am in life in general. So on day 47 of 95 days of summer and just, just entering beast mode, I encourage you guys just to step up your water intake. Just do it. It's honestly some of you guys hate water. So what? Do it. You need it. That's It is what it is. Just drink it. Keep it pushing. All right. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.